Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 with me, Get Daved. Well, we found Kelborn. I found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? Found a bunch of corpses. Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Eh, find a lot out of people don't like me. From them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. He did shoot us down. personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Hmm. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Baklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. I feel General like we should have known these the people. Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He was attempting the a coup? Resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian War. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. Hmm. They're Onderon military, although they were trying to be secret about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. One last thing about the battle circle. Your Thanks. actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Your Perhaps reward is we can fight. There. See you at camp. Well, he confused the camera. All right. All right, I guess let's uh, head on back here. Well, actually... Right, have him fix that. All right, I think we're doing okay here. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna say it right now because I hope I don't forget. But, um, I think that new trade routes one mission, it's from Narshada. I think after you finish Onderon and Dantooine. It, um, kicks in. It, it bumps up the quality of trade goods. You hear the gloat over your victories in the battle circle. Save it for someone else. You got it. You back? Didn't much care for your merchandise. Uh, there you are. Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? I have like a million of these things. You do? Let me see. I don't know how, but these pieces look in good enough shape to repair. I'll have the telemetry. The Canoc digestive system no does nothing. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore how much help you've been. I know you didn't ask, but here's a reward anyway. Mandalorians are expected to do anything they can to help, but you're a stranger, and you didn't have to help us. Well, thanks. All right, if you say so. Again, you have my gratitude. Because refusing gifts people want to give you is right. It's better to give than to receive, but it's best to deny. Uh, think taking care of it all there. Of course, I've already pillaged that. Okay. All right, battle circle. Here we go. Let's do a quick save here. Um Kelborn says you are worthy enough to face champion. Kinda tempted to switch my equipment. Again. You have enough honor to face a champion of a previous day. Kelborn, what are your terms? Swords only. No items or the Jedi's force. And no sword of the Jedi's choosing. Just a simple long blade. Kelborn chooses to fight with the blade. You may fight with fist, foot, and the blade provided. No using the force or any other item. Okay. 
I wonder if I can change my equipment right away. We still have the Strength Enhancer. Good. Um, 10 to 20 plus 30. If I switch to the Lightning Gloves... Yeah, we're better off with this. And I guess we'll try Flurry. Yeah, that looks okay. Holy cow! He did 56 damage to me. He's dead, but still. The match between Jedi and Kelborn is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. I underestimated you. A difficult admission. Mandalorian. Thanks. If you fight in the circle Orbanar. again this day, you will face the bravest and oh. strongest of us, Braylor. Alright. Braylor it is. I think this is a no holds barred fight. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. Oh, I... dang it, I already talked to you. A couple times, actually. My apologies, you everybody. To fight or to participate. For Mandalore! We eagerly look forward to this fight. Braylor, you are our champion. How would you fight the Jedi? No terms today, Sergeant. Uh, I would fight the Jedi with all of her arsenal. Braylor will fight you as you are. Still no killing and no leaving the battle circle. But you may use whatever else you want. Okay, I know you're expecting the lightsaber, but... I'm about to not feel very sportsmanlike. He's coming at me unarmed. Alright. So I have this gun called a Disintegrator. I think the Mandalorians may have heard of it. And we'll just stick with that for now. And where's Old Reliable? Okay. Good kick, buddy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the match between Jedi and Braylor is over. The Jedi also, is the it has started for those of you who blinked. You have defeated the most worthy of us. You walk away the champion of the battle circle this day. Thanks. We Anyone can make this gun. For the honor you have earned this day. Oh. All right, I guess we go report to uh, Mandalore. I think he's back here. No. Secret workstation. Okay. Satellite dish fixed. I feel good about it. Oh, and we need to fix the broken wires. Okay. And I walked right past an important thing. Okay. Not surprising in the slightest. Some synchronized stretches there. Okay. This is probably repair skill. Freya, you're known best for your technical aptitude. There we go. Whoops. Zuka. Any progress with the repairs or the? That's the best thing I've heard in weeks. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore about your help. Good show, buddy. Parts and computer spikes. Take them. You can probably make better use of them than I can. Yay. And word has spread that you have defeated Braylar. The story of that battle will be told in our clan for years to come. Safe journey to you. Also, here's an ear. I'm impressed. Too bad.
bad you're a Jedi. You'd make a formidable Mandalorian. Well, thank you. Power Pulsator. And the Mark V, no less. Okay, I think we can report to Mandalore here. You defeated Braylor in the battle circle. Either you're very lucky, or you're a lot tougher than you look. Thanks. Elhorn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. Zuka told me you helped out with some repairs around the base. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zack egg. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. How many Canucks did you have to kill to find those parts, Bazooka? That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I was Thanks. planning on heading to Isis tomorrow, but I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. Okay. I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. <laughs> it wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? You're alive, in one piece, and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Wow, and I got a lightsaber for him. Go did yet? that. Kelborn told me that they were covert military and probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from ISIS. Kelborn doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts, but that doesn't mean they're Straight there aren't to the invasion force. Colonel Tobin is General Vaclo's right hand man. Despite his martial skill, he handles himself as a functionary more than a warrior. Back when we were fighting Vaclo's resistance during the Mandalorian Wars, Vaclo wouldn't have any use for a poisonous kit rat like Tobin. But Vaclo seems to have adapted well to peacetime. Hmm. When you were last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. The Republic knew that Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon, not the planet itself. For to no begin, reason whatsoever. When you talk about Onderon, you're really talking about the ancient walled city of Isis. It's the only inhabited settlement on the planet. Really? How does it have worth? I mean, it's one city. It depends on who you ask. Queen Talia rules from the royal palace, but her cousin, General Vaclo, has a great deal of power in ISIS as well. They disagree about many things, just like their citizens. We fought General Vaclo during the war, and he is a worthy adversary. Queen Talia is young and hardly a match for him. We're not self-sufficient here. We need supplies. ISIS is the only place to go for them in this system. Not much choice, which is unfortunate. Because their animosity towards Mandalorians makes it inconvenient to go there. Why would you set up base here? Onderon is a recent addition to the Republic, joining during one of the darker eras in Republic history. Since joining, the Republic has endured many wars and great battles. The people of Onderon don't possess the resolve and strength needed in these times. Many of them want to break away from the Republic. They want to go hmm. back to an earlier age when they could cower behind their walls. Their spinelessness made them easy to conquer. <laughs> All right. I don't blame you. They're a sad people. I have some things to look into. I'll talk to you later. Uh, okay. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. Now, I think this kind of starts the something. They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? Huh. It is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? 
Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again. United as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi, such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. <gasps> Candorous? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the hunt. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again. I promise you, that is the future. Indeed, the future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since. A quiet death that will last centuries. She's and just here to make you feel terrible. All remains will be what I see before me. A man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore. You are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. You didn't have to if be there mean is a to him first. Crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path, and I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Yep. <laughs> One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. And the battle royale begins. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Yeah, that's the, uh, the sense of sound. I expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. They, they clearly the aren't. Our allies will need our help. Like, they, they, they found us. Um, I kind of like Vissus more than Mira, particularly in a fight. Although, I will say this, I found myself liking Mira more than I did last time I played this game. Although, the whole Mira and Hanhar thing is just... weird. Bizarre. Backwards. Shameful. You know, all sorts of words come to mind. I wonder if this would also apply to lightsabers. Um, I guess we'll go with... Master Jedi defense. Oh no, wait. Force points. Can't have too many of those. Fissus also has a pretty high charisma stat, so we could get somewhere teaching her some dark side powers. So, I'm gonna go that way. Because it would be kind of cool if she had um, Force Storm. Even though a Jedi is not supposed to use the Force for attack. Just 
just double check that the four speed took. All right. Well, I guess we can move closer so we can shoot faster. Or more. Also, we are not in a good lightsaber form. I don't even know what the well-balanced thing means, but... Guy had a bazillion hit points. This fight I remember going on for uh, five or six years, so if any of you want to go get some popcorn or um, pick up your kids from summer camp, you really, like, this fight goes on for a while. They just keep coming. Guess we'll level up now, break up the pacing a bit. For the exile, we're definitely going for the buffs. Om nom nom. Mental boost package. Some Ritalin. Corellian power suit sounds pretty good as well. Either the fight went a lot faster. Okay, here we go. You didn't think you were the only ones with stealth generators, did you? <laughs> yeah, fist pump. Over here. There are more of them. There we go. Yeah, you would have been disappointed after I pumped this thing's Come longevity. I like how all the guys I beat up in the battle circle are still uh having a cramp. Nice. This is one nice thing about the gunslinger. Like, you, you really can clear the room a lot faster, I think. I like that the four guys are all fighting in perfect synchronization. Or decent enough synchronization. Oh. It's a little closer than I'm comfortable with. Success? Are you ready to go to hide <laughs> yet? Yay. Let's go. What? After that, we'll head out. What? What's going on? How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore, all systems are green. What? Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is if I was deep, I know the What? It seems trouble follows you on a regular basis. Yes. It's best for both of us if we head to Isis immediately. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess. Well, we sure didn't kill everyone yet. Okay, so we get Mandalore himself, and I am going to go with Mira here, I think. Well, no, Craig gets us the experience boost, but I'm trying to think about uh, skill redundancy. Mira is probably the better bet. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. If memory serves, there's sort of a joint action that goes on, and we want to leave pretty good characters behind. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So, Beodur will be like the tech specialist. Haha. <laughs> Left behind. Cryo will be pretty good for everybody else. Hmm. 
I'm gonna bring... I'm gonna bring Kreia. Because I think Disciple can fulfill the same role as she does with the group we're leaving behind. Oh, movie time. Kind of like how Candorus is going into eyes is the same way country folk would go into the city, pick up light bulbs. It is kind of a militant looking city. Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That's hmm. Shuta! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for <laughs> Are they? Like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. Though we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Gotta keep your military in check. Also, one thing I remember about Onderon is you'll see a lot of the are. heads you didn't fight. choose for the main character. Been shut down tight for months now. General Backflow is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Onderonians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. But you just told me they hate the Republic too, and everybody hates the Jedi. Something oh well. Let's level up Mr. Ordo. Unfortunately, you can't change his armor. That's one important thing to note. Uh, you can change everything else, though. It's too bad because his armor... I mean... It's it's terrible. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. And there's no way to increase his defense. Because he's stuck wearing Mandalore's armor. And it has a zero dexterity cap. So he's already over that. Well, actually, let's level him up first. And we can sort of choose the sort of character we want him to be. Hmm. <laughs> We lack skill with demolitions with this group, so I'm gonna go that way. He's a soldier, so he gets a bazillion feats. No, that won't do. Oh, we're on too low of a level. Well, that won't matter for long. The way he's built, it's almost best to make him... He can never become a Jedi either, I don't think. That'd be pretty crazy if he could. But uh, the way he's built, it's like a high HP melee fighter. It's kind of your best option. We'll give him power shot too, because we're going to have lots of options for this. Um, probably will eventually do two-weapon fighting as well. That's l less of a good idea, I think, because... Uh, I mean, he's already geared towards blaster rifles. Um, I guess we are viewing him as a melee guy, though. Well, 
actually, we should maybe go for some of these precision shot techs as well. Yay, we finally caught up with its demolition skill. And yes, we have to go through the painstaking manual process here. Just because we can't really trust the way they're going to distribute oops, his skill points. And feats. I mean, not that I really know what I'm doing or anything, but... Yeah. His dexterity mod is crippled by his armor, so... This is probably the way we're going. This is where they stop getting a feat every single level as well. Hmm. Two weapon fighting, I guess? Constitution wouldn't be a bad choice either. As a matter of fact. Yeah, this is kind of an inefficient split, but uh, if I get it up to 18, he can use better implants, so that'll be a nice perk. And we can level him up all the way to 18, so... Almost there. Now here's where we kind of get to an interesting choice. I guess mobility. I could also keep going in precise shot, but he's just never going to have... ...that great accuracy. Yeah, we'll go two weapon fighting just to give him a little bit of diversity. Alright, looking nice and angry. Huh! <laughs> Dark side. You know, considering the minimum constitution, this is a pretty good package, actually. No. I want the good stuff. So it'd be kind of interesting to put on him, actually, since we don't really care about his charisma or wisdom stat. Again, we can upgrade his dexterity, but it doesn't matter. So... Hmm. Let's see if the exile still has. Nope. Well, we can give him some good strength boosting gear. And there was Frere's blade. That sounded like it was okay. Yeah, that's good for what we can do here. And I guess we just try uh, resistance versus energy. It's a start. I 
Yeah, we'll go that way. And fully upgradable. So we could turn that into a respectable weapon as soon as we find a workbench. But this will have to do for now. We'll give him... Some Mandalorian shielding so he can, you know, feel good about things. Alright, and on that holy cow. It's like a ski. <laughs> a couple of skis, like ten machetes all taped together. Yes. Alright, we're on Andron now, which is technically a little different from uh Dixon. I'm hoping Matt slash Y Caliber can handle the um Andron parts and I will do the Vixen parts. Um, the way the story divvies up might not be effective that way, but it's sort of how I was imagining it would go. So I'm going to end this recording here and I'll do the handoff. I'll see you all uh, in a few videos and uh, until next time, all the best.